Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to build a nifty basketball hoop that is scaled for minifigures for today's LEGO Brick Tutorial. Take a 2x2 two two plate, let's place it on a plate of any size you choose. I'm using a 6x8 plate. Now you can fill in this area with tiles. We're going to proceed on with a 2x2 two two round brick. Place it right on top of the 2x2 two two plate. And a 2 stud long cross axle. Stick that right inside the hole. Take a number three angle element. Let's take a two stud long cross axle and place it on one end. Take a cross axle connector, another two stud long cross axle, place it on one side. And we're going to make two of these and we're going to place them on the number three angle element. And let's wrap it up with a number five angle element. And in this area, a three stud long friction pin. Let's place it where the pin hangs over both sides as shown. Take our angle bracket assembly. Let's place it on top of the 2x2 two two round brick and attach it to the cross axle. Take a 1x2 modified plate with Technic pin connector and an inverted 1x2 plate with bow. Place it as shown. We're going to place this one on the left hand side of the bracket assembly. Take another 1x2 modified plate with Technic pin connector. Let's place an 1x2 inverted plate with bow Put it on the bottom, and then we're going to set this one on the right hand side. Now take a 1x3 jumper plate. Let's place it on the back portion of our assembly. And on the front, a 1x6 plate. Now I want these stubs to sit inside of these tubes where the plate is offset by half a stud. Now, let's take a 1x2 plate and place it on top of the 1x3 jumper plate and two more 1x2 plates right in front of the previous. And let's set a 2x2 two 45 degree slope right in the center. And we're going to surround that with a pair of 1x1 one one bricks. Now be sure to hold on to the bottom so this thing doesn't cave in or topple over. And we're going to surround this with another pair of 1x1 one one bricks. Now set down a pair of 1x2 plates followed by another 1x2 plate to lock all that together. And we're going to finish off the top starting with a pair of 1x1 one one bricks with bow and a 1x4 flat tile in this area. And let's attach our basket. We're going to set this right inside the angle element for a nifty basketball hoop. So here we have Jay the Surfer. He does fit underneath. And he can also hold on to a basketball. Let's see if he can make a shot here. Well, no he didn't, but I'm going to give it a shot now does pretty well. This can be used for any basketball theme. You can make a complete basketball court 